I'm tall. I'm trying to keep my girly figure. <laughs> What time did you arrive last night? I had midnight. Uh, at midnight, and when I landed, they told me I had lost the day. <laughs> but, uh, I had nothing planned for it anyways. Paul Rodriguez has been in over 45 films and TV shows, and has seen much success as a stand-up comedian. However, he didn't always want to be a comic. I wanted to be an attorney mainly because I saw all the injustices that, 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 that my father, for example, got. My father broke his back at Bethlehem Steel, and after eight hours and operations and people accusing him of, 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 uh, of lying because they would take pictures of him while he was doing yard work. If he didn't do yard work, who would, you know? Um, they paid him a, a total of $4,000. It wasn't even worth it. I, I got so angry, I remember telling my mom, I'm going to get even, Ma. I'm going to be an attorney and I'm going to do the right thing I'm for, for people like that. And then after meeting Chavez when I was 13 or 14 years old, I said to myself, I want to be an attorney and make, make the law be understood by, by no matter how low your education is, you know. Then I realized that I was nothing but Don Quixote, you know, trying to, trying to fight windmills with a, with a switchblade. And um, as I got into this, I realized that power, those who crave it are the wrong people. And that, that comedy had a certain power, but it was a soft, magical power. It was in college where Rodriguez found comedy to be his true calling. I got out of the Air Force. I was going to Long Beach State, and I needed an elective. And I took drama, mainly just because all the cute girls are in drama. That's the truth. And um, you know how guys try to be funny with the girls to get their attention? Well, that was me, and I was trying to be funny. Till a teacher there said, why don't you go to the comedy store? Never heard of the comedy store? What is that? It's a place where you go up there and quit wasting our time here. All right. So she took me. Her husband was the accountant for the comedy store. Took me and got me on, on, on stage. That night, that night I knew what I wanted to do, what, what I was going to do the rest of my life. I never went back to school, never. How does the saying go? Expect the unexpected. Well, going into the interview, I thought it would be one joke after another. But Rodriguez was pensive, and much of what he said was insightful and enlightening. I found him very intriguing. I wish I would have found the words in the, in the uh, uh, press conference that, that a, lot of, a lot of times, all life is is trying to figure out what is my place in this world? What is it? Is it religion, you know? But religion is so convoluted and it, it makes so many enemies, you know? You believe God's this, you believe God's that. In reality, we don't even know, you know? We all are self-righteous. We believe the Muslims are wrong and the Catholics are wrong and this is wrong. But in reality, there's got to be a higher power, and there's got to be a purpose to my life. And I can't believe that just, that, 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 that I'm an accident. There's a reason why you're here. There's a reason why this moment in time we met. What the purpose, what the outcome is, I don't know. And I know I'm getting too esoterical, but every day is, is, is a day that something should happen. And the only reason it won't happen is because you didn't do it. I remember a few years back seeing Rodriguez being interviewed on CNN. He had created the California Latino Water Coalition after concerns were raised about the shutdown of water pumps to agricultural areas. I thought my life had lost all meaning. There's a, certain things that have happened in my life that it just had me depressed, you know. And then all these farmers came to, came to me, you know. They said, listen, Schwarzenegger is not going to help us because we're all Democrats and he's Republican. And, well, but you're in show business. and. He's in show business. Maybe you could let him know that we really do need his help in getting this water thing going, right? So I, I said, well, I'm not really a big supporter. I don't even like his movies. I, I, I don't know. I don't think he's a good actor or whatever. Hmm. None of that mattered. The only thing I knew is that my mother needed water. And like a good son, if your mom needs something, you're going to get it. It's going to get done. That was my impetus. Three and a half years later, my agent, my manager had left me because they had, I, I'd been offered a, a TV show. George Lopez wound up doing it. I'd been offered shows and I didn't do that. I figured, I got to do this. I'll do a TV show later. It's more important. Well, three and a half, four years later, it's like they forgot about you. It's, it's hard to start over again. And I had people telling me, see, you could have done that with George. You could have done that. I got a lot of faults, but I'm not a jealous or a pity man. I figured, let me concentrate on this. 
we're really hard. We put a, a measure on the ballot, which is incredibly difficult. At the last moment, Schwarzenegger betrayed us by pulling it from the, the ballot because he was concerned about his legacy, whatever that is, you know. But to make a long story short, the farmers have water now. Uh, we're, this fight has not, is not over, and I'm going to continue at it until the aqueduct is large, that I believe there's enough water for fish and for human beings. I don't know anything about the law in that sense, but the, all the lawyers that work for this company, I sat down with them and I was honest with them. I said, listen, what is the crux of the issue here? Is it really that fish? I can't believe that you're gonna put people's lives above this fish. If that is the case, I don't know how to put it in legal terms, I said, but why don't we challenge that law by saying that human beings should have at least the same rights as a fish? And they went, hey, that's an idea, let's do that. They did, and it was upheld by the Ninth Court. So the pumps are open. No? I think my father would have been very proud. The Latin king of comedy has no regrets and looks at all the highs and lows as life lessons. It's kind of like that scene from the movie It's a Wonderful Life, where, uh, where uh, the main character, George, there, uh, says, I wish I was never born. You know what I'm talking about? And then he sees his life if he would have been there. You know? He wouldn't have helped his brother. All those people <clears throat> would have died, you know? So, so I dream like that, you know? I figured there's got to be a purpose why I'm here. I just, want, I just wish I would know that. Closing out the insightful interview, he talked about his relationship with his 94-year-old mother, who's suffering from a terminal illness, and how his biggest fear was being away from her when she passes. It was a fear that almost prevented him from coming to Guam. But I told her, I said, Ma, I won't go to Guam. And she said, no, 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 you got to go. Said, I promise you, I won't die while you're gone. So I'm thinking of never going back.